Hi, I'm Laura. I ended up stopping at the Apple Store today, and look what I found. The brand new Beats Studio 3 wireless headphones. All right, so. Apple, you care about the environment? Let's, uh, let's figure out a better way to deal with this, huh? Let's see if we can make this work. Aha! Here we go. Oh, and I've discovered a monolith. No, it's the, uh, the Beats Studio 3 wireless box. Slowly raise the lid here. Change the way you hear sound. Just like this guy. Changed with the headphone jack. All right, I'm gonna lift the lid here. It's like a supercharged version of that tiny uh, silicone case that Apple usually provides. Except this it actually has some, oh, look at that. That's a little bit of memory foam. A little bit of memory foam there, Apple. Black and red. I did get the matte black headphones. Thanks, little satin tab. You're very helpful. Cord here. This allows us to become wired if we so choose, as well as, of course, a very cheap feeling plasticky remote. You no, know, I guess they gotta save money somewhere. Manuals. Telling about iOS 11. Use with your Apple iCloud devices. And finally, we've got our fast fuel cable, which is, uh, really? Micro USB? Uh, I kind of thought we were getting away from this when the Beats X headphones had lightning, but I guess we're back to micro USB for this guy. And of course, the saddest, tiniest carabiner in the world, uh, presumably so that you can connect this to this and attach it to your bag rather than having to stuff this giant shell. So shiny. Remove. It shows us how to use the volume up, volume down, and play pause. Of course, this is all buttons here. It's not touch controls. And then here are our ports, aforementioned micro USB, and this is the adaptive noise canceling switch, I do believe. I'm gonna go ahead and try and start this guy up. Maybe pair it. Beat Studio 3, unlock to connect. Connecting, 81%, just like that, I'm all set. So now I'm gonna put these headphones on and uh, take a listen. I think I'm gonna go through some Tom Petty. I feel like that's appropriate. Uh, let's hit up Don't Do Me Like That. The noise cancellation is definitely very good. As soon as I put the other earphone on, I feel like I'm completely in a soundscape, which is nice. Not too much pressure on the head or on the ears, which sometimes I find with big, big, giant headphones. This feels okay. Pure noise cancellation. Uh, you just have to power on the beats. Okay. And then if you want to turn it off, you press it twice. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, I can definitely hear the difference. <laughs> Did not expect that. I'm going to take a little bit more time with these to get to know them and figure out how I actually feel about them, as well as compare them to the Bose QC35, the Sennheiser 550, a couple of the other of my top noise-canceling headphones over the last year. Uh, and then I'll get back to you with a more thorough review. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this hands-on slash unboxing of the new Studio 3 Wireless for iMore. I'm Serenity Caldwell, and if you like this video, as well as all of our other great videos, keep it locked to iMore.com.